Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Copwake and today we're gonna be starting a new game together. We are going to be playing Until Dawn. I've been getting a ton of requests to play this and I've been really wanting to play a game that's scary for the Halloween season and I've just been wanting to get immersed in a game. So I'm going to play through this like I normally would and uh, I may just post this every day we may get it daily we i don't know we'll see how fast i can play through this but i think i'm gonna upload this through chapters so the episodes are gonna be a little long longer than they normally are um so yeah i'm a little nervous i actually saw red play some of this um but this game is based off of your decisions and it's a slasher, which means there's a lot of gore and blood, and you can... I I'm gonna try to keep all them, all the characters alive. I'm gonna play this game as if I was in this game, and I'm making the decisions based off of how I would make them if I was really there. So, um, let's get immersed in this game together, and let's be scared and intense together because that's what this game really is um super intense i i like made myself go to sleep when red was playing so i don't didn't see all of his decisions and it was a little intense for me so we're gonna try to get through this and let's go ahead and get started let's start a new story all right the butterfly effect a tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. Devastating hurricane, okay. Hello, little butterfly. All right. So, we are at the smallest decision. I didn't get to breathe that, dang it. Oh. Little screams. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. All right, your story is one of many possibilities. And I am not kidding when they say that, guys. Many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. Okay, you're making me nervous, game. You're making me nervous. <sighs> okay, I need to take off some bracelets. Getting, getting serious here, guys. My hands are resting against the computer desk. We're taking off our watches, taking them off. Taking it all off. Okay, and by the way, these graphics are just awesome. The glossiness in their eyes and then on their lips, just perfect. All right, so we got a creeper outside. Aww. What am I doing? Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. <sighs> just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em. What? Anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Okay. Aiden, Pat, and Terry. I, th I think I'm saying that name right. It looks just like her. It looks so good. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, teens being teens, you know. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Okay. Oh, creeper outside. Who the heck? Just be us this weekend. Josh. And this is how it starts. Are these people already passed out drunk? Okay, I'm controlling her. And also, uh, I'm gonna be taking my time with this. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of exploring. 
There's shiny objects. That was on the other side, right? Oh, X. Here we go. Tutorial. Press and hold. Right, okay. I don't use controls very often, so... The right stick. Hello. H hello. I was using the left one. Okay, Hana. You look so damn hot in that shirt. But I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to my guest room at 2 a.m. Little winky face, Mike. Oh my god. XX. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention okay. time. Um. So, are people already sleeping? It's 2 a.m. right now. I see another shiny object. This is like a movie. Where did where did that shiny object go? Use the right stick to look around objects. Okay. All right. Is there anything for me to get over here? I saw another shiny. I got your note. Glad you can make it. Oh geez, it already cutscene. Maybe we should start with a little, you know. Making out and what see where it goes from there. The heck? Oh, hell yeah. <gasps> oh, she's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my god. Matt? That is jacked what up. What are you doing here? Oh. Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all got out of Just a stupid prank. Uh. Oh. Hey, you guys. Jerks. That is jacked Hannah. up. Hannah. Uh, okay, that was her, right? Use the right stick. Oh shoot. Uh, should I go find others? Guys, there's someone outside. Right, my first de de decision. Decision. She just can't take a joke. It was just oh, a prank, gosh. Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! Oh, uh, and it starts. You know, I kinda Running out into a snowstorm. Right now, Mike. Okay, press the correct action button. Oh, jeez. Alright. Uh, okay, I gotta learn. Gotta learn where they are. Uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna go, we're gonna go safe. I'm going safe route here. They get to choose a direction? Oh, jeez. And there's a guy outside, too. Oh, no. Uh. Uh. Uh, we're gonna follow the footprints. I'm not going to the- wait, why didn't it go? Oh, you have to hold it, okay. Oh, all right. Follow the footprints, not the noise. Uh-oh. Those are dangerous. Don't run towards them, what the heck? I'll stab you. How are you gonna find her? Uh, use the touchpad as shown. Okay. Slide on my phone. Status yeah. update. Okay. Uh, you can direct a light beam using the stick. Oh, all right. So. I feel like someone's following me. Uh, am I looking for footprints or something? I don't even see any footprints. Where the heck is she? Where are you at, girl? Whoa! Oh, there's another deer thing! Hold. Okay. L1 to walk faster. Okay, we got a little pep in our step now. Jeez. Man, don't walk into the tree. Let's keep... Is that a shoe? 
Is that a shoe right there? What is that? Oh, it looks like a shoe. R2. And let's rotate it around. Oh no! Death totem. Totem. Death totem. Okay. Uh, we're gonna die soon then. Or someone's gonna die soon. My sister, Hana. No, cause red flag. Uh. Oh, what the heck is that? What the hell was that? Fire? Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, gosh. Is that her? Hannah. That looked scary. Hello. What is she doing out here? Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Oh, gosh. Oh, hell no. Run! Okay, I'm gonna have to press my buttons. Oh, shoot. Get up, girl. Get up, girl. Get up. Get up. Oh, no. Okay, your phone. Stay together. What the heck is it? Oh no! Oh no! Oh gosh. Oh no. What the heck? Alright! Uh, let go drop Hannah! Let go? Uh, I can't drop her! I'm letting go. I'm letting go. We both fell anyways. And that's the death totem. We both died. All right. The analyst, Dr. A.J. Hill. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. Okay. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. Okay. I want wow. You to remember this. I want Just you looking to at the graphics, they look so good. As you play your game, every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Okay. I got that. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. Yes. I, did. I want to help you see it through. Okay. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Okay. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up cards? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, okay. it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. All right. Uh, right trigger. And let's rotate that. It's a scarecrow. That's kind of scary. He looks bloody. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Okay. Uh, it makes me, I feel uneasy. Okay, 
honest to his gut. What do you think it is that, that picture in the background makes, makes me feel, feel uneasy. uneasy? Um, the Scarecrow. You know what I should do? I need to turn on Let's subtitles for you guys. All right, guys. Comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time, Let's say a week, for example. Uh, no, I wouldn't feel comfortable staying there. Oh no? Why not? I'd be scared. I'd be scared. Is there something else in that picture that scares you? Cornfields. Yes, there is. Oh. That's intriguing. <laughs> but perhaps we can explore the depths of your fears the next time we meet. I'm afraid we're out of time for now. Okay. Goodbye. Therapist. Okay. And we have an intro. That was just the intro. So we begin our journey, our path. Hayden Pan and Terry. There, there, that's how you say it. Okay, is that blood and a saw? Not more blood. And cameras. I'm trying to pay attention to the intro. <laughs> Maybe it'll be important later. Baby crying. Blood. Moths. Or butterfly. A camera. Footage. Okay. Got nothing from that. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. <sighs> Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person they never... interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. Do they find their the bodies, or do they think they just disappear? <laughs> claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. So they well, didn't hello, find them. friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. Friends and fans. All right. Is he well, vlogging? Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I got to say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Woo! <laughs> so um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know. You're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this, and uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, 
just share some moments that we'll never forget. Okay. For, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so. Cool. Let's party like we're fucking porn stars. Like okay? we're. Make this one trip. Like we're porn we'll stars. Alright? Alright. Yes. <laughs> Which is crazy. It's a crazy party. All right, and there's the fire. That is that the guy, the mask that the guy wore. And that is what they have like at therapists, right? I I don't know. I've never been. Uh, spider. Chapel. The walking horse. Can I speak the obvious? Yes. All right. So we're back. Go into the cabin. And it's nighttime. Is it nighttime? Memento Mori. 10 hours until dawn. So in memory. That's the name of the chapter. But, uh, there's that guy again! Oh, great. Uh, Sam, Hannah's best friend. Considerate and adventurous. Okay. Continue. Hello? It sounded like a dog. Didn't that sound like a dog? Or is it just someone breathing very heavily? Path to cable car station. All right. Cute outfit, by the way. Why is she walking alone in the woods? You can use the right stick to move the camera. All right. Why is she walking in the woods by herself and it's nighttime? This does not seem very safe, guys. Right, I'm moving the camera. I'm trying to look around. Uh, use the right stick to look around. Objects that glint can be inspected. Okay. So I'm controlling the camera. Let's see. Uh, oh, what? The gate's busted. Climb over. <sighs> Damn it. Okay. So I guess we're, let's climb over the light side, not the dark side. Climb up. Let's be safe about this. Let's just be safe about this. There's no urgency. Oh, oh, jeez, I gotta get better with that. Oops, circles, okay. Um, climb. Triangle. Okay. I have to really learn this controller. Every time I press the buttons, I have to look down. Jesus, that's dangerous. Whee! Okay. So we are being followed. Aww. Oh! Hey, little fella. When the don't move icon is on screen, keep huh? the wireless controller in as still as possible. Okay. <laughs> Cutie. I'm not moving. All right. Well, that's gonna be intense. Well, luckily I have a very good, like, position on the controller right now. Okay, if you are unsure of what to do next... Okay, I didn't see that. But hopefully we aren't unsure of what to do. Hello, birds. You all, but there's probably gonna be more deer jumping out than jump scares. I'm trying to look for little glistening things. What is this? Can I read it? Indigenous people and butterfly oh, prophecies. Cool. Uh, tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicates the nature of the prophecy. Black is death. Um. 
Black butterflies prophesied the dreamer's death. Red is danger. So red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss is brown. Butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Uh, yellow guidance. So yellow butterflies offered vision to help and guide. And fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Okay, so... I mean, black is obvious, red is obvious. Got to remember brown and yellow. Yellow's guidance. Brown is uh, loss. So foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Okay. Gonna have to remember that. Oh, what's that? As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking a totem and turning it to the color of the butterfly. Is that one yellow? Is this one yellow? Ooh, look at her nails. Snowflakes. Looks like a yellow butterfly. So we got a bird, a guidance totem. Uh, the future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecies come true depends on the choices you make. Okay. Um, press R1 at any time to review your totem collection. Okay, so we have a death totem that was black and then we have the yellow totem guidance a vision of guidance for a future choice all right the bird we gotta remember the bird is the word guys the bird is the word Let's see can we find any more things let's 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 read what does this say the past is beyond our control all the way up here. Okay. That looks like it's from blood. Okay, so am I... Chris? You here? Let's go inside. Oh, gotta learn my X's. It's locked. Let's find another way in. There's a backpack here. Hey. I hope he's not in the bag, or at least part of him. Okay. Um, we are going to... Snoop. I would do that. If it was buzzing, I would... Oh, we just got our first butterfly. A butterfly effect appears when your actions have changed. The narrative of the game. Oh, Ashley. Chris. All right, so Chris has a crush on Ashley. Uh, he's methodical. Protective and humorous. Okay. You scared me. Uh, I'm sorry. Are, Butterfly are you effect my update. I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I I could take it from here. Hey, I would have done the same thing if it was buzzing. I would check to see who it is, and be like, Hey, your phone is buzzing. Oh, oh my sorry. camera stopped. I found something kind of amazing. Sorry about that. What? It stops every thirty you. minutes. You see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. Alright. Something's gonna blow our mind. I hope... Wait, can I check? Uh, oh! Now we can check... Oh, relationship status went down with Chris because I checked his phone. Okay, so everything you do is affected in this game. Everything. What's going on, Chris? Ta -da. What? Pretty rad, right? Yeah. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Want to try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. Cable right. start car station. Chris. So uh, does that mean I'm controlling him now? Okay, I'm controlling Chris now. We're gonna practice our shooting. What do I get to shoot? Uh, use the right stick to aim. Oh, I'm supposed to aim at this. And then press right trigger to shoot. Right trigger. There I go. 
Okay. Oh gosh. I am not going to be good. There we go. Woo! What is that? The timer shows how much time you have left. Okay. Oh, I was almost shot and missed. Wow. Nice shooting tits. All right. Not bad. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of luck. I don't think so, girl. Oh, I gotta choose. Uh, let's see. What is this? Boop. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. <gasps> a squirrel! Oh, he better not shoot that. We're not doing that. Oh, hell no, we're not shooting the little squirrely. We're not shooting the squirrel. That's just cruel. <laughs> nice shot. You're Jacked up. Jacked. <sighs> Butterfly effect. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris. The cable car. What did that affect? <laughs> uh, butterfly effect update. All right. It is R1, right? Oh, here it is. So... Any of your business, so that's what we got. And rats with bushy tails. Oh. Okay. So it just shows the direction that we're going. Alright. It keeps track of everything, which is cool. We can see how my story is different from yours. Was there a flashy light? Clue found. It's really weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here it just all came flooding back. Milgram yeah, Victor. Oh man, look at this. Nice. Six two. We'll a visit from All right. Is most wanted. Looks like someone thought so. No, oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Collect clues here? to solve the mysterious. Okay. I'm gonna collect some clues too. I'm gonna search everything. I'm searching everything. Hey, that's weird. Doors locked. Yeah. Still locked. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? People? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Ugh. So he has his own private station? After you. A oh, real gentleman. And lock the door. It must be really hard on Josh. I. I don't know how he keeps it all together. I, I'd be a wreck. Well, we're all just gonna have yeah. to keep an eye on him. Must be going through so much, and he seems like the kind of guy who's not gonna just ask for help, you know? Okay, let's go over here. Yeah. Oh, we got something here to look what at. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain. Jeez. Okay, so they own the whole mountain then. No wonder why they have their own ski lift. There's a clue here. <gasps> the hot tub? The bathtub? The car was closer. It's monitoring. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time. Oh How long is this gonna take? I wonder if I can just watch this. And if I'll be able to see anyone at the cabin. Sleeping giant. You gonna publish? What? Your pretty poem. The sleeping giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh, shut up. <laughs> uh, what else can we explore? Is there anything in here? No, no, no. Okay. Finally, you coming? Yay! Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but... I would not trust that thing. Please don't tell me it's gonna freaking fall. Let's enter the car. Just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right, adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? I wonder how old these in characters August, are. Everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, hmm. good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I know, I've kind of been worried. 
No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> oh, friendship. Just, just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what, you're it's right. It's a good idea. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. <laughs> so the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends. It was destiny. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra i mean who knows you could be riding in this cable car alone right now or we're talking to some other person entirely that's true boom. butterfly effect boom all those simple little things tiny little decisions in life that we make Shape our paths. Jess. Her face looks weird. Mike's new girlfriend. She's confident, trusting, and irreverent. Okay. Irreverent. I don't even know what that means. I'm gonna have to look boy, that up. Oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Oh, so she's the new girl to the group. Jessica. All right. Here we go. Oh, jeez. What the hell? Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? What the hell? I thought that uh, she was new to the group. I guess not. They know who she is. Goners. Another ten minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey. Oh, Chris. what the heck? I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. That's not. not... A jerk. My goodness. Butterfly effect Seems updated. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Uh, insist, explain. We're going to explain. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. Mike is a stud. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already to get tired of all this junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? <laughs> I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see That's the view? So pretty. I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Emily, Mike's ex. She's intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. And Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. Oh, okay. He's motivated, ambitious, and active. Okay. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? What the heck? Who says that? <laughs> where's the bellboy when you need one? Just, you know, give it to your boyfriend to carry. It's cool. <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. Gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Ooh, there's music. Regular party. I mean, what do you think? Oh, jeez! Why would you do that? 
Oh, he's a prankster. He's a prankster, isn't he? Mike, Emily's ex. Intelligent, driven, and persuasive. Okay. And Michael. a goofball. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all Why would he do that? He's the ex. No need for violence. Just a little harmless fun. Go out in the woods. It's spooky. Come on. Let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously? What's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Uh, let's welcome him. We're all Michael, friends here. I'm just going to lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's going to suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super yeah, awkward. Yeah, good guy, Matt. And we all know it. Good let's guy, Matt. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. All right. Gonna make out now. Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, no, seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. Status update. All right. Oh crap. What? Hey, Got some could tension you there. Take these the rest of the way. The bags? Yeah. All the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really what? need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. I'm not leaving you alone. Okay, I'll go. I'm not leaving you alone just because I don't want to be alone. Tim, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're going to protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why That's can't you just not... listen to me? Why do you have oh, to Oh, jeez, what did I do? I I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? What a bitch! Uh, okay. Why is he with her? Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. He's just trying to help. Just using him, making him lug up her stuff. What a bitch. And who are you? Ashley. Has a crush on Chris. Uh, academic, inquisitive, and forthright. All right. Who is she watching? She's at the, is she at the lodge? Oh, we can, oh. Oh, there's people down there. Oh, <gasps> hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. Oh, come on, we girl. We need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Come on, girl. Oh, oh what the heck? <laughs> hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. I'm just so watching your I girlfriend you. with her ex. Did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. Uh, no. Um. We're going. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we're not going to encourage that. Yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not. It's not like really interesting. It's just. What? <laughs> For real? I, I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. Uh. Uh. I'm gonna agree. Let's make this interesting. Uh, sure. Help yourself. Oh. Is he gonna see him? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Whoa, Red. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? You know, he just I don't know. Uh, needs to not be with her, that's why. She's a Bye. bitch. I just caused some drama. You know, just make things a little more interesting. Well, I mean, 
Why do I need to cover up for her? She's not nice anyways. All right. Applicable car station. Let's, uh, let's read a book. Ooh, we're gonna read a book. What are we reading? What is that? <gasps> oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see it. We've oh, got gosh. Screen. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military? I love the way guys. snow Someone sounds. Grab snowball. Grab snowball. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, here's my aiming. Oh! Take that! I'm glad we have time to practice my aiming. Oh, how sweet. Chickadee. Boom! Ah! Oh, okay. Unexpected. Bird! Bird! Bird's the word, guys. The bird is the word. Boom shakalaka. That's what I say. Oh, bird. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. I know all your tricks. I'm not gonna hit the bird. Why would I do that? That's just mean. I'm gonna hit him in the face though. Oh, bam! Ha 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 Miss Jessica, the snowball queen. I'm a good shot. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Uh, grab snowball. Let's kiss me. Let's be romantic. Aww. I would have done the same thing. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <gasps> we should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Whoa. Oh, girl. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. What's that? All right. I was like, the music is turning creepy. All right, status update, guys. There's another train! Who's in there? Who is in there? Alright, so we have another meet another meeting with our therapist. Hello again. Hello. And how are we feeling? Hmm? I'm feeling great. Not too scary. Doing Seems good. We hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. Okay. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. All right. Now pick up that book. Turn okay. The pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which Ooh. image in each set makes you the most anxious. All right. This will be kind of cool. Um, women worry me. Definitely. Let's turn the page. Um, planes scare me. Let's turn the page. Uh, I'm not really scared of drowning. Heights more. I'm a, I'm a good swimmer, so I I don't think I would drown. Um, I'm gonna say. 
Snakes are scarier than rats because they bite. And, um, I mean, no rats bite, but snakes sometimes are poisonous. Uh, let's turn the page. Um, guns are scary. Guns are scarier than knives to me. I mean, I see knives in everyday life when I cut my veggies. I fear cockroaches. Snakes scare me. Uh, I kind of don't like cockroaches more than snakes. I mean, those snakes are scary, but I mean, cockroaches are just gross. I don't really come across snakes very often, so cockroaches... I see a little more. Oh, clowns or scarecrows? That's a very scary clown, guys. Um, I'd have to say scarecrows are scarier just because they're in cornfields. Clowns, I'm not too afraid of. Gore disgusts me or crows scare me? Um, gore. Gore. Oh. oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. You're a creeper. What? Am I still going? Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay. All right. Let's turn the page. Um, I fear spiders are creepy. Yes, they are. Okay. Uh, I don't fear needles at all, so gore. Oh, you guys are getting to know me a little bit. Let's turn the page. Uh, zombies scare me more than scarecrows. Because, uh, if the world turns to zombies, uh, I fear, um, mm, uh, I don't fear dogs at all. I'm not scared of dogs. Um, I guess, uh, gore. I like storms, actually. I'm a fan of them. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. I don't trust him. Look at that face. Spiders, zombies, an awful. Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> Great. Is that going to be uh, included in uh, the game? Oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but All right. I promise we'll talk again very soon. Okay. See you later. Creepy therapist who always walks to his window after we're done. <laughs> Okay. All right. Previously. Okay, let's go ahead and can I press options? All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. That, I think, continue or uh, completes the first chapter, Memento Mori. And we're going to start another chapter. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. It's definitely going to pick up. And uh, yeah. I'm excited to play. That went by super quick for me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did and you're excited to see me continue playing this, uh, let me know by leaving a like on the video. It always helps out to gauge your interest. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Cupquake, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Peace. Love.